What's up, YouTube? It's -a me, Super Mario EJ here. Welcome to a solo Minecraft Wii video. I know you guys probably prefer the co-op with my buddy and I, but uh, I'm doing a special video today because I thought of something. Because uh, I've been watching some uh, Minecraft series on YouTube recently, so the because that's what you do in in these times. And obviously, I'm I'm around the baby pizza world that we toured last video, but um, we're doing something today, because I have thought for a small Minecraft build, and I thought, why not make it on, in a video, instead of just doing it as, like, a build off camera, so, that's what we're gonna do today, we're gonna get, we're gonna need some handy dandy explosives to make some area, but we're gonna be making, well, I'll explain in a bit, let's start building, what I'm gonna wanna do is start having, like, a staircase downwards, And this is gonna, the staircase is going to go down a tiny bit. And then we're going to blow an area up for the building we are going to make. And yes, I will be replacing some of this dirt. There might be some jump cuts. Just so I'm not boring you all with stuff. But uh, we're only a few minutes in, so I'll start doing some of this. And we do not want to break that, so let me, uh, let me take care of that. So, um, I haven't been even going... I'm gonna just go down a few more. And I think about here is where I'm gonna wanna explode and build the area. So let's just place a good old piece of TNT with the TNT explosions on. And let's get us an area. Warning, don't try don't try this at don't try this at your Minecraft home. Uh anyways, uh, we're gonna need night vision. That's water breathing. You think I would know this game by now. Uh night vision. Where's night vision? Night vision. I'm gonna to wanna to pick up all this dirt that I'm not gonna need. So that we're building an underground area and Yeah, we'll just put the dirt here. Um anyway, so I think I was deciding I wanted to build this, some of this out of stone brick, so the entrance way is gonna be stone brick so this would be like the entrance area so all this is going to either be changed to stone brick we'll get to that we're also going to need to clean up the the edges in here uh i might change up to some different stones once we get to there that point but um we'll get there after we clean up some of the the, the area we gotta have it might not be too too dirty. Ha ha, get it? Cause this is dirt. We're working with dirt, not not too dirty. All right, I'm gonna stop my bad jokes as I continue to break some of this. Obviously, we're on console, so I don't have any nice world edit or cheats and whatnot to do this. So we're gonna do this hand by hand. We're only a few minutes in. Like I said, if there has to be a jump cut, I will do that. And. Yeah, like, I don't want to bore you guys with just, just me doing stuff, because like, I want to get, I want to show some cool stuff, like some interior design choices, but, um, for now, we're gonna, we're just gonna do this, um, I think that's an, a nice cleanup area, I'm just gonna clean up this wall, I think, I would say, and, yeah, alright, so, that's, like, it, we might expand, but um, this is the main area for now, so we'll just place on some stone bricks. And walls will come later. Like I said, maybe I'll jump cut to do the walls, because the walls will be somewhat of a pain. We can do the floor. I might also change up the walls to be maybe something else. But um, for now, we're, we're going to have the floor be stone. I might have the entrance air walls be stone, but I might have like the interior walls to not be stone, so yeah. Just so like we're matching. Uh, so hey, that area, that, that, that's a nice open area for what we're building. Again, I'll explain what we're building in a tiny bit. We're gonna need to refresh our, our vision potions. And yeah, right, let's keep those on hand. Um, so you know what, I think I'm actually going to do a quick jump cut, and we're going to clean up the walls a bit, but first, before I do a jump cut, um, or where, where did my stone brick go? We'll just do like the area going up, 
And there's also going to be something like, as I lock myself, there's going to be something covering this, because it, or it could just be an open staircase out in the middle of nowhere, that would be creepy. But uh, yeah, uh, quick jump cut time, so we're going to do the walls quick. Alright, there was the jump cut. Uh, I, I did probably a few minutes of the walls off camera, and I decided to finish up on camera. Oh, I missed a spot. Okay, um, that does not look like how I want it to be, so, heck, uh, there we go, I mean, that's, it's, it's different, because I, it's different, uh, block measures, but hey, this is what we have so far, uh, I'm actually going to switch these to stairs, I'm going to put all of this to be stairs, actually, I'm going to actually do that on the corners, oh, heck, so, uh, let me explain what we're building. Also, I also did a different wall texture for when you're coming down. And, like I said, I'm debating if I'm going to leave this open or if I will cover it up. Uh, also, we'll get to the roof after, the ceiling after. So, what I'm designing here is, like, Afton's, like, little spring lock testing facility. It's, like, a thought I had. So, um, there's going to be, like, some machines in here and whatnot. I'm going to probably have, like, a little table thing maybe here could be like a little table thing here or actually hold on actually uh i'm gonna actually gonna put like a little table thing here i was gonna work on the doorway uh i think if i do oh wait uh all right i might need to push the stairs back I'm, yeah, I, I can push the stairs back. It's not the stairs. Where'd the stair block go? Uh, so yeah, it's this supposed to be Afton's. I, mean, I gotta get the right block now to, so it matches. So this is gonna be Afton's like spring lock testing facility where he trains himself to survive spring lock failures and puts people through spring lock failures. So yeah, it's Afton's little testing facility. So um, let's just cover this up for now. And we can add doors after. But there's like a little entrance area. There's like a little table thing right here. I actually might put a little floor thing here. And then stairs. Like that. So. It's just a start. I don't know. There might be a second part on this. I'm debating now. Now that I'm, this is my first video doing like a custom FNAF build. Um, I do want to get I do want to get one thing done. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to put the TNT away for now. What I, what I need is to do some redstone stuff. And I actually was testing a few things off camera before recording this video. And I have like a small idea for one of Afton's machines. Now the question is, do I have enough room in this room to do it? Which I think I might. It just comes down to, can I cover the redstone up? I might need to. Like see right here, I'm deciding about putting another room. You know, this machine might go in another room. Might, this might just be like the entrance area to Afton's workshop. So we might need to dig out and have a second room. So we're gonna need to um we're gonna need to do a bit of excavating, but we'll do that in due time. Something I do wanna do though is um have something right here and I hope this will work. I'm gonna put it like that. We're gonna put something down here. Athens gonna have something locked up down here in his foyer. And it's like a little lobby area. So we're going to put that at least in the video. We might, we, might, we might spruce up like the entrance area to Afton's little spring lock testing facility. But yeah, this is why I decided to build it also behind uh, Circus Baby's Pizza World. Because if you guys saw the video, Afton has a workshop in there. And this is like his second workshop behind it. It's like his spring lock area. Now I do need to break in here and get uh, a mob spawner. Because... It, it, it's in peaceful now, but I'll show you an idea. I actually might also get a block and put it here. So I have this spawn egg that I randomly named Purple Guy. So um, I'm going to keep that on me. But if I would go into easy mode, like right now per se. That's adventure mode. Easy mode. There is now an enderman in the, in the cage. In Afton's workshop. Also, this is a tall cage for an enderman, so I might shrink it down. But hey, it's a work in progress. 
Okay, um, we're gonna turn that off for too many spawn. I should maybe just spawn a single one. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the spawner for now. That might come later. We'll leave the spawner there, but um, maybe we'll just spawn one at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, we'll do a few more things in here. Like I said, there might be a second part because like there's a big machine I want to put in here. Ooh, something since there might be a second room. Um, something I want to do here, I guess, is um, I don't know if this is gonna work. I might have to do out of blocks. But to maybe have like a minecart rail system that goes into Athens' second room. Let's see, can we place tracks on this or is it not gonna... Alright, we might have to use this as blocks. I mean, no, that's gonna be the starting. If I did this out of blocks... Maybe. Again, I gotta clean the dirt, put different blocks. But there, I'm debating there might be a minecart system that Afton has running through his testing facility. This is just like the lobby entrance. I guess I, I honestly, I should have figured that this would be a little bigger. Uh, and I might look at my inventory. It's already filling up. I know the screen's a little blurry in the video, but my inventory's already filling up. You know, I'm gonna actually delete these dirt. I'm gonna need to clean my. I'm gonna need to clear. I'm, I'm gonna need to keep the TNT. Uh, I'm gonna clear out, clear out a few blocks though. And um, yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, so anyways, oh heck, I gotta do my potion still. Uh, <coughs> night vision. We also gonna put some lights in here. But um, let's see what else we can do. So we're gonna put some animatronic in here. Or uh, an Enderman purple guy man at the end of it. Let's put some cobwebs. This must be like a creepy testing facility deep underground. I'm going to break it and put one in there. Uh, there's probably going to be another quick jump cut because uh, of camera space. But um, we're going we're gonna to at least finish off this four, uh, lobby area. 4A, whatever. I'm going to at least put like maybe have a computer in this room right now. But there's going to be a quick jump cut. So. Alright, uh, there's the other jump cut. Uh, I, I just added a small desk for Afton. I'm gonna put like a little computer thing right here. Like I said, there might, might be a minecart thing, so maybe there'll be a minecart thing that goes over this little desk table thing. Maybe this is where like he, he has to send it off. Maybe the wall will go back one, we'll see. But um, I'm gonna get, I'm being close to ending this uh, first part. There might be, there probably will be another one of these. We're gonna add a we're gonna add a skull skull in here. Uh, so this is after the workshop. For now, like I might have another idea for lighting, but for now I might put a few torches down here, just so like when my night vision runs out, I don't have to keep drinking that. But um, I might have a better solution for lighting for down here. But yeah, there's definitely gonna be like a second area to this. So decisions I have is if I'm gonna cover this. I could, just a thought guys, I don't know, I'm, de I'm debating about it. I could make this look like uh, a bunker thing. And have like trap door, I don't know. I'll, I'll work it out what I'm going to do up here. But um, let's just finish a couple more things down here. We'll put some, some placeholder lighting. Uh, yeah, so there'll be a dead bush. Afton will have a dead plant that he did not water. Uh, I'm going to have, even though it won't be signed yet, I might work on that. I'm going to put a book where, like, Athen is, like, a to-do list book. And I want to put something there. Uh, something I'm thinking, actually, let me destroy the cobweb. Just as a design choice, put some iron bars right here. And I'm going to do the same over, over here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Maybe I should bust the wall so it looks even, but besides that, um... It looks alright. Uh, might let's put like another skeleton skull. We'll put it here where like the possible conveyor belt will go, and I'm stuck in a cobweb. Um, so yeah, Afton's little workshop thing. Uh, there's gonna be there, there's gonna be a second part. Maybe I can get my buddy in if you guys want. But um, something else I might add because I noticed I learned something about armor stands and like spawning and setting. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put two things at the end of this video to end it off. So we're gonna put the Enderman away. Uh, I'm gonna need to get iron bars again. Uh, I'm gonna need to go in easy mode, but um, we're gonna need iron bars. We're also gonna have like a uh, a template spring lock suit thing. So that's just like the chest thing. So that's gonna go there. And now put it in easy mode. And we have our Athens uh, prisoner. So there you guys go. Uh, is the name tag in the show? I don't think so. So there you guys go. There's Athens' little workshop thing for now. There's going to be a second part to this for sure. And leave a like if you want to see a second part of Athens' springlock testing facility. I might do a little digging off camera and whatnot. So yeah, leave a like if you want to see more. I just broke part of my wall. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video for sure. And I'll get my buddy back for the next Minecraft video. Alright, bye guys. Leave a like for part two of Athens Springlock Facility. Alright, bye.